finally, the time has come for me to awaken the brand new hero, Petros, guys. Are you ready for this final evolution of Petros? This is going to be insane, guys. I can't wait to awaken this guy. It's been like two weeks. I'm super excited. Uh, check it out. He's orange plus two. He's ready to freaking go, man. Almost done with all of his enchanting. All his items are all set to him, as you can already see. So, let's take a look at where we are on the quest for the awakening. Alright, quest number two, four out of six. So, you know what that means, guys. Let's just go ahead real quickly. And this is very simple now. We can just sweep this bad boy real easy. Sweepy deepy. It's done. Out of the way. And then, let's head back. Head back. Alright, let's complete... This is going to be fast and furious, just like they did in those movies. Fast and furious, giving it to you real good. Uh, this guy must uh, blah, 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 dealing minimum of, what? 150,000 damage? Oh, this is kind of new. Yeah, this is definitely pretty new. All right, I think. So let's go ahead over here, guys. We must go in here and Petros must be the one to do 150 thousand minimum damage um hmm doesn't seem too bad let's see what this entails though hmm, will this be difficult or no so in order to do that we must use some support obviously let's go with Ling Ling we want to max this guy's attack power as much as possible okay that will help you know what you'll think uh, attack crit rating I'm pretty sure that's what he does so let's go with that. I want to go with some healing just in case his, you know, life force gets down. And I could go with Sumiko. Sumiko is a, you know, nice support. Let's take a look. I want to see who else I can use for a support hero. Um, Alright, you know what? Let's see if I can do it with Sumiko. So pretty much my mainly attacker here is going to be Petros. Uh, you'll think we'll do a little bit of uh, you know damage as well, but let's see. Crush the fools! Ha <laughs> ha! This is my kind of guy. Crush them! Alright. Alright, there we go. Holy hell. You'll think he's almost dead. We do not want that. This this is actually a pretty uh hard stage. Wow. Why the hell did Yulfin almost die? Is he that weak? Uh, he is only orange plus one. Actually, most of these heroes are orange plus one. Feel my wrath. Alright, I'm going to go with some of this healing here. Just to protect Yule Fang a little bit. No! Alright. Ooh, we're good, we're good. I just didn't want somebody to die here. But, it looks like the arrows are hitting the back line. And, uh, I should be safe, Yule Fang. So, we're at 109 thousand here looks like the goal is going to be met very simply here not that hard they have awakened the volcano oh actually they really have by doing this all right now i'm gonna use my girl boom ling ling there let's go oh the freaking thing has been met guys we did it we just must finish the stage here victory is ours we did it yeah yo that was easy enough actually that was pretty easy but then again, at this stage, you know, it's not... Whoa, those guys did a lot of damage. I do have them at orange plus two maxed out, though. So, that could be a big difference, depending on where you are in his awakening. So, uh, think about that for a second. Anyways, let's go ahead, guys. Complete. Let's make sure that we get him. Oh, yes. Whoa. Not that big of a difference, except this guy actually looks like more of a freaking beast. I never thought it would be possible, but it's definitely possible. He's even more beastlier than before. Holy hell, the beastiness is real. Let's see the card here. Yo! Holy moly, scrappy holy. This dude is gigantic. So, this is kind of like... It's really strange because you see this guy's card and you see the humans at the bottom here. They're like tiny little meatballs and he's gigantic. But then on the battlefield, he's almost, you know, he's as big as all the other uh, heroes. So it kind of makes you wonder what the hell 
kind of comparison is that? Because if you look at some other heroes that are with humans, they're not that big. So, I don't know. Either way, this is gigantic. This guy is literally a volcano walking around. I can't believe it. He's so disgustingly nasty. So, let's go ahead and see what his card is all about here. Because uh, I think it just made him a shit ton better, guys. Alright, so... I'm actually not even done with this thing yet, so what I'll do is, let me max this one out because I have 20 ability points, there we go. That's maxed out, so those are all maxed out there. And his awakened ability now, we can take a look. The lava contained in Petro's body burst out, dealing damage to uh, enemies that are attacking Petro's from in front of him. The damage dealt by this ability is greater once Petro's has taken a certain amount of damage. Wow, so the more damage that he receives... The greater this will do, a thousand deflected damage. What? Come on, man. That's insane. The reflective damage? Alright. The lava containing the petrol body burst out, dealing damage to enemies that are attacking him. Yeah, so pretty much enemies that are attacking him are taking damage back, guys. That's exactly what this says. Petros has taken a certain amount of damage. It doesn't tell you how much, but it tells you at this point, at level 8, which is not a lot... It deals a thousand deflective damage. Oh my god. Now, let's see. I don't have anything to give him here other than this one, which is max health. It's a common stone. Should I just place this on him just for shits and giggles? Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna place this on him, guys, for shits and giggles. Give him a little bit of more stats right there. Now, let's take a look at his stats at this moment right now. I do have to actually max this one out. So, this is not maxed out as of yet. But everything is maxed out. Everything else. But, uh, as we can tell, physical attack, 3,500 plus 600. Max health, 51,000 plus 19,000. Wow, this guy is definitely officially the number one HP tank in the game nobody else is even close compared to him it's not even it's not even close actually when we take a look vernos is very close he's at 51 as well with 11,000 boost so it's and he's missing one item there and it's not even that item is not even chanted so actually vernos is very 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 close actually it might be even the same as him but i haven't found anybody else that's uh, i don't have drago maxed out so i haven't really found anybody else that's close to him uh, really quickly, compared to Gorum's stats, because Gorum is maxed out, Gorum's max health is 44 and then 22,000. So, uh, yeah, Gorum is lacking a lot. And physical attack, Petros has even more physical attack than Gorum does. And he's awakened as well. So, that's pretty crazy. And this is six stars. Insane. And Vernos, uh, don't forget, Vernos is seven stars, guys. Awakened. Alright, so 7 stars, that's why he's close. So, all in all, Petros is definitely number 1 HP tank in the game, alright? So, really quickly, that's his abilities. Now, let's go ahead and do the rest of the things we gotta do. Alright, so first things first, guys. I'm gonna do the auto free forage here. 50 times, not free, uh, the basic one. Always do this one, it's very simple, very fast, and it's going to give you a decent amount of uh, boost right away. Uh, I want to take a look at exactly what this guy's uh, stab boosts are going to be once you hit those marks. It's very tough to get the third boost, you know, it takes a while if you're just going to do, you know, free forges every single day. If you're going to spend the diamonds, you can get it a little bit faster, but if you're not, it takes a while. But the first two, you should get decently enough. Alright, so... Physical armor plus 30, physical pierce rating plus 30, magic armor plus 150 at the bottom. That one is pretty good, actually. So, uh, that's done. Next up. All right, the only thing next, guys, is war. So, we're in arena battle here. Let's take a look at what this guy is going to do in a battle now. Because this will be interesting to see. Um, Valko is hitting me from my, the back there. But, take a look at Garek. Boom! A perfect counter there. Did his job very, very well. That's why I love Garik. That's my boy right there. Petros in the front. All I really want from him, guys, is survivability. This guy needs to survive as much as possible because the longer he's on the field, the more damage these opponents are going to take when they're hitting him. Look at that. The shield there. Ooh. Take that. Death will come upon you once you mess with Petros. Whoa. So, taking a look. 
No! 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 Don't do it to him! Oh my god! Are you serious right now? <laughs> Yo, this dude is the most damage dealt. Gorik, second most damage dealt because he took out Volko really quickly there. But damn, dude! Wow! 166,000 damage. A lot of it will probably come from those uh, deflective shields. And that's not even maxed out all the way. Come on, son! That's crazy. Wow. Sick. Let's try one more battle here, guys. I want to test this out one more time. See if that was a fluke. Because sometimes battles change. You know what I mean? This one is a little bit different. No Volko in this one. But we do have a pretty decent team here. Uh, two tanks. Two backliners and a Sylphie in there. So let's take a look. I do love Cigar. Come on. Um, Mariel. Bang. Nice, nice, nice. Give me those Shadow Clones. All right, perfect. I, I think that was a perfect ultimate from Avior to save Gorum there. Here we go. Ultimate. Yes. Just in time. Look at all those lavas on the battlefield. Those are just more damage that are going to come to them, guys. Believe me. Look at this. Another Shadow Stop. And booyah. Victory once again. He's still alive. My tank in the front is still alive. That's insane. And once again. Alright guys, it's not a fluke. This dude is for real. Wow. That is sick. Damn. Alright guys, this is no joke. Petros is insanely, insanely good. In the arena, it looks like this guy is going to be the main guy in the arena. Wow, I'm so glad that I 5 started this guy. I have to finish off that one enchanted items, which I will do a little bit later, live. I'm going to finish off his abilities, which I will do, <laughs> you know, soon. And then he should be ready to go, guys. Maxed out. I want to work on him on Hero Village. I want to work on him everywhere else. I can't wait to max this guy out. But anyways, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a thumbs up if you did. I appreciate you guys very much. See you guys real soon. Peace.